Oh my god, my mic. Seriously, it was off? Oh man. What's going on, guys? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, every time. <laughs> but anyways, happy Saturday, my friends. Welcome to... This is uh, Community Mining Rig Showcase number, what, are we on 67 now? Thank you guys. Uh, roll call here. We got Serpent, X Special Forces. What's up, man? Uh, Adrian, what's up? Tech Man, what's up? Ace24, how's it going, man? Pavel, Pavel Bo Boguslavsky. Sorry, <laughs> I butchered your name. What's up, man? PCB guy, how's it going? Spectrum. Your mic is broken, Red Panda. Thanks, man. Dan the Dane. Dan the Dane. Hello, good sir. Bitcoin Life. Hello. Um, Igor Schmidt. What's up? Masculine Q. What's up? The Deadwood. What's up, man? Travis Stanbury. How's it going? Grit69 Ford F100. I love that name. What's up, man? QSB5. What's up? Okay. My friends, let's get started. Happy Saturday. Welcome to the live stream. And uh, we are going to continue with the Community Mining Rig Showcase. So last episode, we ended off with KC. Uh, he had a 19-card rig project, which, which did pretty much over 1 giga hash, which is just a, an amazing GPU rig, seriously. Okay, but this episode, we begin with Pistol, and we begin with Dan the Dane. Thank you so much, Dan the Dane. Thank you for the donation, my friend. Amazing, amazing. Thank you, my friend. Much appreciated. Um, Pistol. Pistol from Wattpool.net. She is, I guess, the head marketer for Wattpool.net and uh, other projects as well. Okay, so let's see what she has got going on over here. She's got a Amazon basic shelf. I see some Sapphire Pulse GPUs here. I see a MSI Armor Edition card. I think I see a... Uh, a gigabyte card. I think she has a bunch of RX 570, maybe 580 cards here as well. HP server power supply. Uh, yeah, the spaghetti cabling. <laughs> uh, pretty good, pretty good. And then uh, let's see another shot here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. She's got yeah, gigabyte card. Oh, Asus Strix card. Uh, Gigabyte Aorus, MSI Armor Edition, and Sapphire Pulses, yeah. Wow, a lot of cards on this. This is like, I think this is a, yeah, this is like an Amazon basic shelf. I think I've, I think I've, I've, I've built one of these before. I'm not sure if this is the smaller shelf or the full size. Nah, this looks like the smaller shelf. <laughs> yeah, the smaller shelf. Um... Okay, uh, keeping it going, keeping it going here. We got a, oh yeah, so Pistol has 13 card RX 8x574 gigabytes, uh, a couple of five, uh, eight gigabytes, and a, yeah, two server power supplies. One overkill for power, but not enough if ETH goes to prog pow. Ah, okay, okay, I see what she's doing here. Uh, okay, and then here's her Hive OS. Ah, uh, yes, so 32, 31, 29 mega hash. 32, 29, just a range of, definitely a range of, of mega hash here and power consumptions for all these cards. RX 470. Looks like the RX. Wow, looks like her RX 570 is getting 61 watts. That's incredible. At 32 mega hash. Wow. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, tech man, exactly. S Silicon lottery matters a lot. Um, that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. 12 RX, uh, 12 Polaris cards. Okay. Uh, Pistol, thank you so much for the pick. If you see this, how is it going? All right. Uh, next up, we have Ra. Ra with 6 RX 580, 8 gigabyte cards. Ooh, okay. I thought these looked like 1080 Ti's for a second, but uh, since they only have the 1.8 pin and a beautiful Veta frame, looks like the V3C edition Veta frame because of the the fan placeholders are, it's not the aluminum one, that's the V3D, this is the V3C, and look at that. Oh, look at this Asus wireless like USB antenna thing here, that's pretty cool. 
Um, what else we got going on here? Beautiful rig. Is, I love the Asus Strix rigs. They always have the like the nice LEDs and stuff. And he's pretty much got it co uh, color coordinated as well. Ah, that's cool. That's cool. Pretty pretty. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, Cat Lover, what's up, Cat Lover? How are you? How's it going? The Deadwood. That's like 480 MSI armor, getting 80 watts at 33 mega hash. Oh, it's pretty good. Uh, Ra. Dot XE. Oh my, I just randomly came here and I saw my rig is next. Oh! Hey, Ra! Okay, so this is your rig. Awesome, awesome. I like this, man. Very, uh, I, I like that you're using, like, the, uh, are these the EVGA, uh, what, <clears throat> what do you call these? Cable mod? Are these the cable mod white PCIe cables? Or, the white power cables? These look familiar, because I think I have these as well. On my Radeon 7 rig. I think I think they're from cable mod raw let me let me know let me know yeah I think they are ah okay okay yeah they look very similar like they're the the single the braided uh, cable mod cables white white colored ones as well very nice man RX 580 Asus Strix these are just beefy cards very nice RX 580s very nice man uh, and then your power consumption is, oh no, your mega hash is like 30, 30.1, yeah, th th 30.1, yeah, 30.1 and 31 mega hash, almost 32 mega hash on the other card. Power consumption, 598. So I'm guessing this card, uh, this, this rig at the wall is probably taking another, like, say another 30 watts per RX 580 added on to this so probably close to 800 watts maybe maybe 820 watts at the wall give or take yeah very nice raw thank you so much for the raw.exe ah your name is different from youtube and discord okay very nice man thank you so much for the pick oh, oh actually you say yeah 189 mega hash at about 850 watts total power usage awesome mining ethereum all right so i wasn't too far off 850 watts very nice. Ra, thank you so much for the pick, man. Alright, next up we have Timo. Timo, finally my mixed rig with Hive OS. Total of 5 GPUs, been mining for 2 years on and off. With Hive, this mixed thing is finally possible. Thanks for Khaled helping me with Hive. Oh, shout out to Khaled, one of my mods. Um, 119 mega hash stable so far, 130 mega hash, but still unstable. Ah, okay. So you got a Vega 56, a Vega 64, 1080, uh, 1050 Ti. 1070 and a 550 arcs 550 oh wow ah uh, okay okay so you have yeah an ATX an ATX case with uh, it looks like you have a USB splitter I think for the uh, PCIe and uh, you just have them coming out of your ATX case here that is awesome what is what is this ah uh, okay this is your hash rates okay so you're getting 7 mega hash, 13 mega hash, 33 mega hash, 27, and 38. Ooh, I'm assuming that's your Vega, uh, Vega 56 or 64. Very nice, man. Look at that. We've all done this. We've all done this. This is a, this is a great start for sure for mining. If you're just starting out, you can just use your simple gaming computer and just have the PCIe cables come out of your case. Assuming your, your power supply cables come out, you know, long enough. But yeah, you can just have them sitting here like this. <laughs> I like it. I like it. We've all done. I've done this. I've definitely done this back in the past. Uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Cheap at Walmart. <laughs> oh man, sorry. Guilty. Yeah, tech man. Exactly. I like it. Okay. Uh, Timo, thank you so much for the pick, my friend, if you see this. Alright, next up we have, uh, good old Jim, one of my mods, and what is he showing here? Uh, VO Tech 27-inch curved gaming monitor. Okay. Well, this isn't mining hardware, but, uh, I'll, I'll definitely show some, uh, some gaming monitors. It's not even, didn't even take a pick out of the box, Jim. Jim disappointed so disappointed in you where's where's the monitor I want to see the monitor out of the box <laughs> uh, okay all right Jim thanks so much for the pick all right uh, next up we have 
Bubba, just Bubba. My gaming PC and mining rig. Water cool, 1080, super... I'm guessing this is the super clocked edition. And then a 1080 blower on a 10 and a 1060 SSC. Uh, super clocked. Oh, okay. Ah, look at this. This is pretty nice. Okay, so like an ATX case. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so the 1080 is up on where the... I guess where the fans would go, like on the front of the case. That's pretty sick, actually. And uh, he's got a, another GPU here and another one below there. And then he's got... Uh, I uh, what? Oh, man. What's this game again? Uh, man, what, uh, this character. Man, I haven't played... Uh, Overwatch. Overwatch. Yeah, I haven't played Overwatch for so long. Um, that's sick. Um, look at this, guys. This is pretty nice. This this 1080. I wonder where the airflow is coming from. If the if the window is on, it must be pretty pretty hot in here. I would guess it'd be pretty hot in there. Uh, oh, he doesn't have any other picks. Uh, but just Bubba, thank you, man. Thanks for the pick. That's pretty cool. All right, all right. Um, Panda only plays plays RuneScape. Oh my God, RuneScape. I haven't played RuneScape since like 2005, man. Thomas, oh, Thomas, <laughs> I haven't played RuneScape for so long. Uh, Dan the Dane, music louder? Alright, music's coming up. Okay, um, keeping it going, my friends. Next up, we have, uh, Pinkon MG. Not much to write home about. One, five, X, P106, 100, and a GTX 1070, uh, six by RX 580s, and a two by nine, P104, 100. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. Alright, so it looks like this looks like one of those VETA frames, like not the V3C, but those, uh, I forgot the, I forgot the model name of it, but they're like the, they're like the one with like, uh, the handles or something and like the sides, I think you have the sides with these. Um, I've never built one before, but uh, I've seen them before, this looks pretty good, look at, look at this, he's got like a Noctua, uh, this is the thin, the thin 90mm fan, low profile fan on a P106, I'm assuming. And yeah, he said he has he's got five P106s here and a regular 1070 here, Asus 1070. That's pretty cool. Wow, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. And he's got more P106s. Oh no, 1060s over here on another rig. This looks like an yeah, a regular Veta frame V3C. Very nice, man. And then you have some pretty killer. I think these are for you, for you or six you server cases. I'm not sure. Uh, if these are 120 millimeter fans, oh no, I think these are 80 millimeter fans. Wait, are these 120 millimeter? Yeah, these are 120 millimeter. So I'm. This must be a five or six you height. I think this is higher. Thomas, oh, maybe Thomas could could let me. Thomas is in the chat. He's a he's a big miner. He'll probably know what size these are. But uh, looks like he's running Bitmain power supplies on these. That's pretty sick. And uh, yeah, this is definitely wider than a regular like a server rack style case. That's for sure. Not a standard size. Yeah. Okay. I thought I thought so. I thought so. Five point five U. Yeah. Five point five U. Oh man, we got 55 people watching, guys. Uh, hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, smash the like button. Happy Saturday to all of you. Hope you're all doing well. Um, hope you guys are still... Are you guys still quarantined in your areas? Not sure if you guys are still quarantined, but... <laughs> Good old... Uh... Hi, from Chile. Chile. Oh, right, right on. KB's on Chanel. Thank you, man. Thanks for coming by. Savage Mine, Savage Mine, welcome my friend, welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you, Savage Mine? Okay guys, uh, pick on MG, thank you so much for the pick. Alright guys, keeping it going, next up we have Gulamaz, my rig with only second-hand items. Ah, okay. Uh, 6x Vega 56 MSI Air Boost, oh, wow, looks like we have the same, we have the same cards. Oh my god, he's able to get 50 Mega Hash on these. Alright, maybe I will contact this dude. Um, he's got a custom wooden frame. Is this is this a uh, battery backup? This looks like a battery backup. A UPS. Oh, helpful crypto miner. Hey. Hey, uh, thank you so much for the donation, my friend. Thanks for coming. How are you, man? 
Uh, Savage Mind, good, good, awesome, awesome, buddy. Okay, so this Vega 56 rig, wow, this looks pretty nice, actually. He's got a custom power button. He's got a little, like, 40 or 80 millimeter fan here. That's pretty sick. I think that's 40 millimeter. And uh, 120 millimeter fans in the front to uh, ex uh, expel or exhaust the air. Um, wow, he's able to get 50 mega hash. Okay, I'm, I'm going to have to talk to this dude because I cannot get past 45 mega hash on my Vega 56 air boosts. I, uh, I definitely need to get working on that project. This looks sick though. Uh, I, I feel like having it on a battery bank or a, a, U, a UPS would would kill the battery quite quite hard. But um, hey, it might it might work for some people that want uh, I guess like maybe surge protection or anything like that. Um, oh my goodness, uh, Dan the Dane. Hey, thanks for the donation, my friend. Again, again, man. You don't have to donate so much. Love the community. Mining rig Saturday. Hey, thanks, man. Ah, oh, Savage Mind, thanks for the donation, man. Thanks for these streams, RPM. Yeah, no, Savage Mind, thank you for the streams. My goodness. <laughs> Jeez. Thanks, Savage Mind. Uh, Boris, what's up? Nefarious, what's up? <laughs> just woke up? Yeah, not, yeah, I just woke up like maybe 30 minutes ago as well, Nefarious. Crypto Mining Lifer, what's up, man? Um, who else we got here? The Deadwood. Crypto Mikel, what's up? Crypto Mikel. Crypto Mikel. Yes, Crypto Mikel, we got a call in 40 minutes. I will be there, my friend. I will be there, okay? Uh, don't worry, I will not stream over that our time. I will, I'll be there for sure. Uh, Ku okay, um, let's see. Uh, Gulamaz, thank you so much for the pick. All right, next up, guys, we got Kucho Cam X. Kucho Cam X, let's see here. What has he got here? He's got a, looks like a custom wooden frame. And he's got some sapphire, beautiful limited edition sapphire nitros. I'm guessing, yeah, these are the 580s. Uh, he's got a gigabyte. So this looks like a 1070, maybe 1080. He's got a, another 1080 from EVGA, 1080 to EVGA. And uh, I think he's got some more cards in the back there, but I can't really tell what they are. Probably, oh, this looks like an Asus Strix one in the back. Uh, he's got an MSI uh, Duke in the far back there. Pretty sick. And then he's got uh, this awesome little screen here. Man, I just, every time I see this, I always want to get one. I always say that, but I never, I never do it. I should, I should just, I should just go buy one right now. Uh, two HP server power supplies, very nice. And he's got a regular ATX power supply uh, with there as well. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Kucho, Kucho Cam X, what's up, man? I've seen you around and I've seen you've been trolling me on Reddit as well. Good old Kucho. Um, look at this. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, so he's got, yeah, GPUs in the back there and in the front. That's nice. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Uh, helpful Crypto Miner. Jeez, thank you for the donation again, man. Let's see if we can do a Dono Chain Lambo. All right. That's all right. Saving up for the Lambo. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Thanks, man. Uh, okay, uh, Kucho Camex, thank you so much for the picks, my friend. Uh, Spectrum, thank you for the donation. Bitcoin happening hype, yes. Oh my God, what's when's the Bitcoin happening? Another ten days? Probably another ten days or less. <clears throat> Making me want to buy more GPUs. Yeah, same, 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 same. Uh, Seriously, we all have addiction. Addiction to buying. We have. A, we all have an addiction to buying GPUs. <laughs> all right. Next up, we have KC. KC finally got this motherboard. ASUS H370 H370 Mining Master. Okay, I have been meaning to get this motherboard, but in Canada they do not have it in stock anywhere. There's just nobody has this motherboard in Canada. I've seen it in the states. Um, I've seen it in the States and I actually want to get this motherboard and I kind of want to try putting 20 GPUs on this motherboard. So the thing about this motherboard, you guys can probably see the difference between like the X mining uh, Asus expert board is this one has like the uh, the PCIe one adapter built into the built into the motherboard. So it's in a USB style already. So you just have to plug in the USB cable and then it goes to your uh, goes to your riser. So yeah, I think this looks pretty cool. I think it, this this motherboard's been out for like a year now. 
uh, it's it's been out for a year, but um, I, uh, I I I just I haven't been able to get my hands on one. I've been wanting to get one, but yeah, it's uh, if if any of you have one, let me know. And is it is it good? If if any of you have it in the chat. Uh, let me know. I, I would like to know. Hey, stupid thug. What's what's up, man? Hey, stupid thug. I haven't gotten to your rig yet, but we're gonna get there real soon, my friend. Um, okay, actually, let's look at this. H370 Mining Master version BIOS 1406. He's got it coupled with an i3 8100. Uh, he's got uh, yeah, 3.6 gigahertz processor and just a one giga stick, four gigabyte of uh, DDR4 2400 megahertz RAM. Nice, very nice, very nice. That's awesome. Um, KC, if you see this, my friend, let me know uh, how this motherboard works and uh, if it's uh, if it's reliable or not. <laughs> uh, Thomas, so to be honest, it probably is a pain. Yeah, I have a feeling it could be a pain. Anything with like twelve or more GPUs, well, anything with six or more GPUs, it's probably going to be a pain. Yeah. I like that it has like the 24 pin built into the motherboards, like three of them. And it looks like it has a power button. It's got a power button as well. That's pretty cool. Alright, uh, KC, thank you so much for the pick, my friend. Okay, uh, Derek, hey Derek Hart Hartwig, what's up? I almost bought one last year, a year ago, but it was $180. Yeah, they're, they're expensive, for sure. <clears throat> okay, next up, and I believe he's in the chat, is Vega, Serpent X Special Forces. Check this man out. If you guys don't know Vega, Serpent X Special Forces, we're going to go to his channel right now. And uh, let's go to Serpent X Special Forces. And let's get everyone to subscribe to him. Uh, so, oops, how do, you, how do you do equals? No. Sub underscore confirmation equals one. Yeah, that's the way. Okay, guys, everyone, uh, give a little sub to Savage. Ah, uh, Savage Mind. <laughs> I'm too used to saying that. Give a give a sub to Serpent X Special Forces. I put him in the live chat there. Uh, give him give him a give him a uh, little uh, give him a little love, a, lo a little subscription there. I want to see this over a hundred. One point two is at one point one nine k right now. Let's. Uh, Let's see, I want to see this over 120. Let's see it. Savage Serpent X, yeah. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Yeah, Serpent Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. Helpful Crypto Miner, thank you for the donation again, my friend. Jeez. Spectrum, what do you... Wow. Thank you, man. Thank you for the donation. <laughs> so funny. Let's sub-bomb Serpent, come on. Uh, I'm, or maybe, if for people that are watching right now, maybe you guys are, are already sub to him. But, uh, all right. Sounds good. Uh, but Serpent has a, I guess, I'm guessing, Serpent, this is your, what is this? This is your gaming PC. This is your main rig, I'm assuming. Um, let's see, we got a, uh, what What case is this? Well, I can't tell. Is it a Corsair? Is it a Fractal design? Is it a NZXT? Uh, let me think here. Corsair. All right, I was first. <laughs> I was right on the first. Th Corsair Obsidian 500D. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Corsair Obsidian. Those are nice cases. You got a Corsair. I think this is that what H110 or H100i CPU cooler. Um, you have the Trident Z memory. Very nice. And what GPU this is this? Is this the 5700? 9900K. H150i CPU. Ah, okay. 9900K CPU. Awesome. And an RX 5700. Very nice. Nice rig. Ah, nice uh, gaming PC. <laughs> Pretty much. Badass. Yeah, I love I love the Obsidian cases. There was a ah, uh, what is it? Obsidian 900D. I think I had a bit. I had a buddy with a Obsidian 900D. Oh my god, that case was just massive. Oh, jeez, this case is crazy. Yeah. Oh my god, this case is massive. But yeah, that, every time I hear every time I hear Obsidian, I, I just think of the 900D and just how massive the cases are. <laughs> but I guess the 500D is also still pretty, uh, pretty, pretty decent. Pretty decent as well. Uh, oh, Boris, you have the 750D. Nice, nice. <laughs> Huge. 
Oh, I'm assuming the 750D is not as... Uh, here, 750D. Okay, yeah, it's pretty... Wow, that's pretty big, actually. Yeah, it's got, like, the, uh... It's got the... Wow, it's got two uh, two uh, hard drive case cages at the bottom. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty nice, actually. <coughs> Helpful crypto miner, Red Panda, you should make, uh, you should go make a rig with a 900D. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> how can you, how can you, wait, uh, let's, how many GPUs can fit in here? Oh, well, okay, well, it's really dependent on the motherboard, so you could fit three GPUs if you had the three slotted ATX, uh, motherboard, and then you can put a GPU down here, uh, you can put a GPU maybe here, and, I don't know, take, this hard drive cage out, take out all the fans at the bottom, put more GPUs in there, and <laughs> it would look so, it would look so weird and probably be really, uh, really hot inside. <laughs> that, that would be, <laughs> that would be really funny. Ah, uh, jeez. So many GPUs. Um, okay guys, uh, let's keep it going here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, smash that like button. We got 84 people in here. Uh, let's keep it going. I gotta watch the time. I got 30 more minutes, guys. 30 more minutes. All right, so let's keep it going. Next up, we have Rahid. 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 That's his name. Um, let's see here. We got. He's got boxes upon boxes of Gigabyte Aorus 5700 XTs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, uh, no. 4. Yeah, 8 Gigabyte Aorus 5700s. Oh, man. Super jealous. Super expensive. Uh, did he make the rig? Yes, he did. Okay, he said he's getting 400 mega hash, uh, 1700 watts. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Um, Aorus 5700 is very stable and cool card. Um, I hope he was able to undervolt, uh, undervolt these cards. Hopefully, hopefully he pre he probably did. He probably did. Oh yeah, Serpent, yeah, thanks so much for the rig pick, my friend. And, uh, did we get you to 120? 1.20? Yeah, we did, you're at 1.2k, nice, awesome. Beautiful. Um, okay, continuing, yeah, this, uh, rig, if he's getting 1700 watts for this whole rig, that's not right, I'm assuming he's done some BIOS modding and undervolting, he should theoretically get, like, I think he can get like 900, maybe a thousand watts total, uh, depending what mega hash and undervolts he's doing and all that kind of stuff. But hey, I sh I'm sure he has. I'm sure he has. Rahid, let me let us know if you have optimized this rig anymore. I'm sure you have, uh, but let me know. All right, thank you so much for the pick. All right, next up we have PCB guy. He's got an R9 3900X. Uh, MSI X570 Unify motherboard with 16 16 gigabytes of CL16 3600 RAM. Oh, and he said he's got 16 uh, four 1660s. All right, so he's got a Veta V3C Veta frame. Very nice. Look at that. He's got the green. I think these are Corsair fans, or maybe the up here the up here fans. And he's got an all color coordinated green. That's awesome. Oh, I didn't know you could change the fan color on the AMD uh, CPU CPU cooler. That's pretty cool. Is or yeah, or is that reflecting off? Oh no, yeah, yeah. You can you can change the LED. Okay, that's nice. Oh, that's cool. And then he's got the MSI. Yeah, uh, 1660. Very nice. And then uh, yeah, here's the cards on the rig. Ah, uh, that's cool. That's pretty sick. Pretty sick. 1000 watt EVGA power supply with 1660s. Very nice. You could probably use an 850 watt for the whole rig, to be honest. But hey, whatever PC, whatever power supply you have, uh, definitely use it. And uh, yeah, look at that. That's a nice. Uh, yeah, so the AMD CPU cooler definitely has like RGB and all that kind of stuff. Wow, there's, a f there's another fan. <coughs> there's another fan on this motherboard. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. What is this? Is this an. Is this an ASUS motherboard? Unify. What's what's Unify? What brand is that? Did, did he mention it? 
Oh, MSI. Okay, MSI motherboard. Ah, interesting. I've never heard of Unify before. Interesting. Interesting. That's pretty nice. Okay, and then he's got the... Oh, he's got the 1000 watt T2. This is the titanium rated uh, power supply. Dang, that's pretty nice. Okay, PCB guy, thank you so much for the pick, my friend. Let us know if you're uh, if you added if you added on any more cards. I'm sure you have. Okay, uh, next up we have Octane five six seven. Yeah, he says four X Radeon RX five uh, four eighty eight gigabyte cards. Okay, and he's got some fifty seven hundreds as well. Very nice, regular five seventies. Oh, look at that! Look at these lights. Are these like orange? Yeah, orange. LED 120 millimeter on a Veta V3C, yeah, V3C uh, mining frame. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, these are the 470s. I can tell by the power connector uh, on the middle of these, like, uh, blower fan style uh, 470s. That's pretty sick. Okay, Octane, thank you so much for the pick, my friend. All right, next up we have, uh, we have Stupid Thug. Yes. Stupid Thug, he, I, th I believe he's in the live chat and I made him in the thumbnail. Okay, so he, he says here, hello all, new miners soon to send to my farm. Uh, they're both 470s and 570s with server cases and violent fans. 12,000 RPM, great for cooling and I set my GPU fans 20% and these fans do their job. I'm getting about each card 31 mega hash plus. Okay, so stupid, uh, stupid thug. Yes, here you are, my friend. Okay, so you have some good old 4U server cases. Very nice, very nice. And uh, let's keep it going here. I see mounds and mounds of EVGA power supply boxes, and uh, looks like uh, yeah, 570 boxes. And then, and then I see the beautiful. Oh yeah, these are these are right. These are really nice 4U. Uh, you have the 470. These look like the mining edition cards because they only have the DVI, uh, the DVI connectors on them. Um, that's pretty sick. And then, yeah, here's another shot. Okay, so here's a shot of the rigs inside the GPUs inside these rigs. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. I I really like how the fan placement is on these, and like you know, other server cases. The GPUs are facing the other way, so the exhaust is coming, actually coming out of the front. But with these cases, the exhaust is coming out of the back, so that's that's a lot better. That this is this is a lot better uh, made than like those Rosewell Rosewell cases. But the Rosewell cases are really cheap to get uh, right now. <clears throat> and uh, look at that, Sapphire Nitros. Hey, Khaled, Khaled, what's up, my friend? <clears throat> yeah, hit that like button, guys. Oh, we almost, uh, we have 100 concurrent viewers right now. Wow, thank you guys for coming in. Happy Saturday to all of you. Um, Community Mining Rig Showcase number 67. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, Stupid Thug, thank you so much for the pics, my friend. Here's the thumbnail. I thought this was a really cool shot uh, that you did of your uh, Sapphire Nitros. I think this is cool. I love the blue lights. I really like the blue lights on these cards. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Khaled. Good old Khaled. Hey, Tim Miller, what's up? Leaf Node, how's it going? Welcome. Welcome, guys. Welcome for people just tuning in. Okay. Uh, oh, Stupid Thug still has some pictures here. Let's keep it going. Alright, looks like he's using... Uh, what mining app? Um, what, what mining app is this? Stupid Thug. I'm kind of curious. Uh, this looks like it's on your phone. Is this a website or is this an app? Oh, it's Hash Radar. Oh, Hash 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 uh, Hash Radar Hash Radar OS. Awesome. That's sick. I've been meaning to. Yeah, I'm gonna be hopefully getting my 12 by P104 rig on on Hash Rate soon. I'm. Ah, right on. Look at this. this is a nice looking app. Wow, you can hit the stop, you can hit the pause, you can hit the reboot. You can do tuning on it as well. Wow, on the app? That's pretty sick. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Huh. System info, statistics, notification. And you can see the Phoenix Miner, you can see the Mega Hash, you can see the power consumption as well. 
That is pretty nice. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to uh, gonna have to try this. Dan the Dane, thank you so much for the donation again, my friend. Oh my goodness, I really appreciate you, Dan the Dane. You are you are nuts, my friend. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, uh, one last pick here from Stupid Thug, and oh yeah, look at that. All right, he's got one of these like non like server rack style cases. This is like a 5.5 U according to uh, Thomas, Thomas U by the looks of it. 120 millimeter fan and definitely a lot wider than a regular server rack um, specification. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Patrolas. Hey, Patrolas Vladimir. What's up, man? Pretty sick. Pretty sick. Okay, guys. Uh, just looking at my time. It's 940. All right. I got 20 more minutes to go. All right, guys. So let's keep it going here. Uh, next up, we have Jim. Again, Jim, one of my mods who didn't post the picture of his monitor, only the box of the monitor. Uh, Jim. Okay. So, Jim, looks like you got a triplet PDU. C13 to C14 cables with uh, look at look at, <laughs> look at this Bitmain power supply. 1600 watt. Yeah, 1600 watt. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. And uh, what is this? What is this? TP Link. Ah, oh, this is like a little network switch. All right, yeah, Jim. Nice network switch. And uh, oh, it looks like he's got a like a power line adapter or no wireless extender. Maybe both. I'm not sure. Could be a power line adapter or and a wireless extender. Actually, no, I'm not sure if you can do wireless extension and power line at the same time. I'm not sure. I don't know if those exist, but that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Keeping it going here, Jim. So many pictures. All right. Looks like you got your own. Oh, this does not look. This does not look safe, Jim. Jim, what's going on here? All right. You have you have a. <coughs> oh, I need to get I need to get a drink of water for this one. <coughs> All right, Jim. <laughs> Looks like he's got some uh, custom electrical going on here. Uh, I don't. I don't know how I feel about. I mean, if it works, hey. But uh, this. I mean, this hopefully should be going into like a like an actual an actual um, uh, thirty amp plug like a, a receptacle or the plug <laughs> but it's going into one of those I think I think this looks like a extension cable that goes straight into the breaker <laughs> that is a 30a rated wire into a 30a plug oh okay it's yeah it's a 30a it's a 30 amp plug but it's not one of those like actual like um I gotta close. I gotta close all these all these tabs. Uh, is this this like it's not like it's not it's not like one of those Amazon uh, those locking those locking uh, stuff. <clears throat> it's meant for inside walls. Okay, so the cabling is good. Okay, so I see he he just he just he just retrofitted this ca this this end from a regular extension cable uh, into this plug into this uh, into this thing here. I see. <laughs> Ah, oh, Jim, I love it. I love it. Uh, Jim, we're gonna have a, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna talk, we're gonna have a little talk after. Uh, okay. Um, next up, he's got another pick here. EVGA 750 watt B2, very nice power supply. And lastly, he's got a pick here. Uh, let's see here. He's got a. Uh, this looks like a. This looks like a shoe rack, I think. He's got some limited edition 580s. He's got a power color Red Devil. I love these cards. These are my favorite RX 580s. And uh, spaghetti of cabling going everywhere. And look at that. Oh, look at that. Nice, nice gym. Very nice gym. Pretty much goes along with your um, your 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 power cabling here. <laughs> the breaker isn't installed. Oh, does it go straight into the into the oh let's see let, let me see if I can figure this out does it go straight into the no that would be insane no I'm pretty sure this goes into a breaker pretty sure 
I'm, I'm guessing it's probably this guy. Or this guy. It's probably this guy. That breaker. <laughs> Whoa, Serpent. Oh my goodness. Serpent, Serpent Xbox Forces. Thank you for the donation, my friend. Uh, little Panda f Fund. Please connect with me when you can offline. Can you summarize, shed more light on ETH mining performance impact on NVIDIA? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, I can, my friend. Serpent, I will uh, I'll connect with you, my friend. Um, yeah, just uh, I've been seeing some of my NVIDIA cards losing hash rate over time. And uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Okay. Um, that's it. Oh, so that's the last picks of Jim. Uh, Jim, thank you so much for the picks, my friend. Okay, uh, what time is it? 9.45. Alright, guys, let's go through... Let's go through three more. Uh, two more here. Okay, so next up we have Glenn S. Update to my gaming rig. Brand new EVGA RTX 2070 Super. And, oh, he's got some nice specs here. 3600X 2070 Super. Ooh. Oh, yeah, look at that. EVGA 2070 Super. Uh, in a uh, ATX case here, very nice, RTX 2070, he's got a Cooler Master, Cooler, nice, nice, Glenn, oh Glenn, you actually, Glenn S, you're in the, you're in the live chat right now, awesome, still a bit dusty, yeah, <laughs> just a little bit, but who cares, it's, it's still good, um, what else you got here, man, what else you got here, uh, let's see here, let's build this up a little bit more, since you're in the live chat, Glenn S, uh, you have Crucial Ballistic Ram, um, uh, 2070 Super, actually, I like how these 2070 Supers have this little, like, this little, this little, like, bracket to show that it's a Super at the end here. That's, that's pretty cool. The Cooler Master AIO really sucks, don't buy it. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay. I, I've always heard people say buy, just buy the cool, uh, buy the, uh, Corsair. Uh, the Corsair, the Corsair water coolers are normally the best, from what I've heard. So I've always gone with, I've always gone with the, the Corsair ones. Yeah, Corsair much stuff is much better. Yeah. Oh, Derek, Derek Hartwig. Hey, thank you for the uh, donation, my friend. Uh, nice little, nice little emote there as well. <laughs> Thanks so much, buddy. Uh, Serpent, yes, Red Panda Wang. So I think you said in your vid it's on 10 series uh, because the 1660 is at the same levels and has 6 gigabyte like the 1060, which gets 19 mega hash. Uh, yeah, Serpent. So I believe it's only 10 series uh, GPUs. Um, the RTX cards, uh, from what I've seen and heard from other people, they are unaffected. Uh, the mining specific cards, I believe, are affected as well. Uh, my P104s have dropped like three mega hash, um, but yeah, people some some people have tested the 2070 and they're still getting the same mega hash. So I have a feeling it could be the memory dependency or the the the, the TLB or whatever. Uh, I forgot what TLB means, but yeah, my my 1060s have dropped considerably on hash rate. It's just terrible, just terrible. Uh, my, my 2070 Super is hashing the same on ETH hash. Yeah. I think the RTX cards and GDDR, GDDR6 or HBM2, they're all fine. Or a AMD cards are for, for mining ETH are fine because of the driver. But the 1060s, 1070s, 1080s, I've seen um, definitely lower. My 1080 Ti's have also seen lower hash rates as well. So, kind of sucks. Uh, okay, um, Glenn S. Thank you so much for the pick, my friend. I, I'm glad to see you in the live chat. That's awesome. All right, next up we have Montaigne, Montaigne, Montanker X, six, Vega 64, uh, 750X Ryzen 3 B450M Strix. Ooh, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. Ooh, wow. Wait, what's going on here? What's going on here? Is this CPU out of the motherboard? Ah, okay, so I'm assuming he's just building it. <laughs> it kind of scared me. I'm like, oh, he's running the motherboard without the CPU cooler. <laughs> the, this, the deep cool uh, water cooler is, is, is cooling his desk. Yeah, <laughs> Boris, exactly. Uh, Dan the Dane, my goodness. Thank you, my friend. Let's support Red P and the community mining rig Saturday. 
Uh, Dana Dane, thank you so much for the donation, my friend. You are, you are a saint and a scholar. Thank you so much, man. Um, okay, actually, what I just realized is this frame that he has is not a. It looks like one of those Veta frames, but it's not. It's like one of those. Um, I, I've seen these on AliExpress. It's one of those test bench things. Uh, yeah, it's one of those test bench things. Um, test bench. It looks like a Veta frame, but it uses similar like aluminum brackets uh, to to hold up your motherboard a GPU and you can have like a radiator or 220 millimeter fans on the side here I was I was literally I was literally gonna buy two of these I bought two of them on AliExpress but they, they just didn't ship because of the uh, the whole coronavirus thing so I wasn't able to get any of the I wasn't able to get these cases these are for my test rigs so instead I had to use uh, if you guys saw the video, I had to use my regular um, custom-made aluminum frames, which, which, which sucked. <laughs> I, I wish I could use these instead. These are so cool. Uh, so cool. Wow, nice rig though. He's got the uh, MSI or no uh, Radeon Vega 56 or 64. I can tell because it has this GPU tack thing. Very similar to the blue, yeah, you can turn the blue light on and off, and uh, <laughs> uh, that's awesome, GPU tech. Okay, my friends, that's it. I uh, That's Community Mining Rig Showcase. We went through a lot today, and of course, if you guys don't know and you are new watching to this uh, live stream, I do this every single Saturday. I look at Mining Rig... Uh, mining rig picks on my discord feel free to come join my discord and post your mining rig picks here I go through every single one. I do not miss Anybody's pictures. All right, so I've been doing this for the past year and a half now um, I've seen literally thousands upon thousands of pictures now you guys are nuts I, I, I've seen all types of mining rigs now. I've seen all types of mining farms as well uh, for some big players that we have in the space, uh, some people have posted some insane pictures and we've seen some, you know, some also very funny, very funny pictures. You know, this this picture that we saw last week from Jim, now, now that I come to think about it, if Jim is doing stuff like this and we saw Jim's breaker, you know, out of, uh, out of uh, this, then uh, I guess we kind of know that's, you know, it's Jim. So if Jim can do this and he's doing this, we understand. <laughs> I'm making fun of Jim. He's one of my mods. It's all good. <laughs> uh, Dan the Dane, hey, thanks, Red Free. Great thing you created. Hey, uh, Dan the Dane, I actually, I, I did not create this idea. Okay, community mining rig showcase is definitely not something. Um, uh, so I, this definitely is an idea that was taken from. Uh, I taken the, I took this idea from Son of Attack. If some of you guys don't know Son of Attack. Uh, he was a crypto mining YouTuber. He was doing crypto mining uh, for the longest time. And I think he's moved on now to tech reviews or gaming. Uh, so I, he stopped doing he stopped doing the uh, mining rigs like showcase per se. I um, know oh he didn't call it mining rig showcase. He called it uh, he called it what did he call it? Uh, mining rig battles. Uh, mining rig. Not showcase. He called it uh, mining. Oh, mining rig wars. Yeah, mining rig wars. That's where I got his uh, ideas from. Yeah, rig mining rig wars. Yeah, that's where that's where I got it from. Son of a tech. And uh, I thought I could. Uh, he wasn't doing them anymore, so I thought I would, you know, take it over and uh, do it in a different way. Obviously. I wasn't going to call it Mining Rig Wars, so I, I thought of a new name, Community Mining Rig Showcase. It's kind of a long name, but uh, it's pretty much is a showcase. I'm showcasing everyone's mining rigs, <laughs> so <laughs> I think it's cool. I think it's cool. So, uh, yeah, his rigs were a lot of competition rig of the week. Yeah, he had a competition. Yeah, I I don't really want to do I don't really want to do a comparison like a competition between people. That's kind of I don't really need, I don't think anyone, I don't need to have a competition, but um, I think this is a cool way as well. But guys, thank you for watching. All right, so I'm, I'm going to be winding down the stream now in the next five minutes. Uh, do you guys have any questions? How are you guys all doing? 
Um, is everyone handling everything okay during the whole coronavirus? I hope you are all. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. Kim.com, not very Canadian. <laughs> like to compare. <laughs> Kim. Kim. Net. Yeah, we're us Canadians are are pretty nice. Yes. <laughs> Alexander Kumkov, where you go 10 p.m. Alexander, no, <laughs> I I gotta go. I gotta go to a call with uh, uh, Crypto Macal and a bunch of other crypto mining YouTubers. <laughs> Fine tuning my rig has me inside a lot. NM Steve, nice. Me too, my friend. Me too. Me too. Canadian, it's not his fault. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Open my my area. Open back up. We are still have the fourth highest cases. May have the odds. May the odds ever be in your favor. Oh my God, Trans St Travis Stanbury, stay safe, my friend. Wear gloves and stuff. Serpent, I got a vid at 2 p.m. Eastern. Oh, nice. Okay, sounds good. We'll head o we'll head on over there, my friend. See you later, Serpent. Sounds good, my friend. I'll see you there. Feel free, uh, Serpent. Feel free to post it in the live chat here. Feel free. We can we can all go there. Uh, tech man, hopefully I can stay awake tonight. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my friends, thank you for watching Community Mining Rig Showcase number 67. And thank you for everyone who's posted their picks. And uh, stupid thank, thank you for the rig picks if you're still here. And uh, everyone else who's posted, I appreciate you all. And seriously, you guys gave me way too much donation today. Uh, it looks like, according to my YouTube studio, you guys have donated $56 today. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to definitely give that away uh, sometime soon. I think we're gonna be hitting up my 15k subscriber, uh, 15k subscribers real soon, so um, we will do a nice giveaway, okay? Alright my friends! So thank you guys, have a good day, have a peaceful Saturday, enjoy the sun if you have any sun. And uh, actually no, it's raining where I am right now, but uh, <laughs> have a good one my friends. Stay safe and peace out. See you nefarious. See you, Savage Fine. Peace out guys.